Welcome back to Metroid Prime 3! Well, we need to find a weapon that can destroy the generators. So, uh, where do you think we should go now? A place with more firepower. Well, we could go to the fiery air dock or the thorn jungle where the next generator is, but nope, we're going to the cliffside air dock. Did something unlock while we were gone, or...? Well, remember, we have, uh, ice missiles now. That is true. So there's a few places we can go now that we weren't able to before. Where do we go now? Where do we go now? And besides, you know, you went to the generator, you went through all that, and the game says, Oh, nope, can't do it, you gotta find somewhere else. So, either eventually the game will tell you, hey, go here, or you're gonna do what any other Metroid game would do and start looking around at places, places you haven't been to yet, doors that haven't been opened yet. Spe and eventually you'll find the way. Speaking of, I can't remember if I asked this or not, will you ever have to go to one planet to pick up an item to go back to the planet you were just at? It hasn't happened yet. Okay. That, that you recall. And if it does happen, it's probably going to happen at the very, very end of the game. Very, very end. That's what I was That's what I was thinking. Your Chozo artifacts, your Sky Temple keys. I think we got something similar here. But here we're going to destroy the Eastern Energy Signature. Oh, just diving right in. Remember, there's two generators here that we need to destroy, and they still want us to destroy this first one. But we went there last time, and they said we couldn't. Because we don't have any weapons that can actually destroy the generator. Time to find one. So we got to find one, and... Uh, You'll be glad to know that you can just search on this, on this planet. Like, we don't have to go to Alicia or, or uh, Norion yet. Your answer is on the planet. Perfect. And eventually the computer will tell you, but we're going the right way. I kind of have the visual of Samus just going, What weapon can destroy this? And then she just hold, just starts flexing and just goes, Oh yeah, two of them right here. <laughs> nah, this is a matter of firepower. Ooh. Not so much, uh, you know, destroying troops or whatever, or space pirates. Or uh, invading Reptilicus is like to jump right at me when I'm trying to do something. Hello. Hello! Yeah, you're... Uh, oh, just, whatever. Just, 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 <laughs> whatever, not falling off there. I gotta be somewhere... Will you get out of here? I'm trying to be somewhere. Do you mind? Do you... Oh my god, will you stop? <laughs> when are they gonna attack me when I'm in ball form? Oh, yep. yes, they can. Yes, they All can. Right. Okay. I don't like the Shriek Bats are gone now. They have not respawned yet. I'm very distraught about that. Uh-oh. That might, that might be a missing logbook entry if no. I don't find any more. Oh, that's not your Ridley, please. It's just Shriek Bats. But not for lack of trying, right? That's true. That's true. I tried. You saw me try. I can't do it. You saw it. I have visual evidence. Besides, I don't think it matters too much. No. no. Pickups are the only thing that matters here. Yep. All right. First thing. Ah. Oh, okay. Shloop and a slow turn around to over here. A place where you can blast it open, all right. Oh, <laughs> just, just a missile expansion. But we also have a scan here. Hey, a buddy. gamer. You certainly are. He's not aggressive, so please don't shoot him. It's like they had him left over from Prime 1 and 2. And it's like, where do we put this guy? Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Ran just, random just, missile tank room? put him in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. random missile tank room. He's a, he's a cameo now. There you go. <laughs> Why did I fall? Seems like even with the new console, I can never escape the horrors of the grapple beam. Oh, no. Don't even know where to go now. Oh, oh done. These go. Man, could this get any worse? Riddles McGriggles comes in and starts fighting you. Not Riddles! Oh, no! Hi, I'm Riddles! Ridley's cousin that likes to tell Riddles! I hate this guy! I can't do damage until I answer one of his Riddles! One is black and blue and red all over! I don't know, but I'm charging up this, this beam until I figure it out! Oh, you got it! Now you can hit me! <laughs> I hate that boss. <laughs> It's the worst well, one. It's the one time they add voice acting to Metroid. The one time they add voice acting to Metroid. And it just had to be Riddles McGriggles coming in and just telling Riddles all over the place. Jeez! So I've said it many times, this game takes its uh, level design from Prime Hunters with the multiple planets. But the thing is, a lot of these uh, planets are do interconnect in some way. There's still a lot you can do here. So you have to fly from one part of the, of the planet to another part of the planet. And uh, sometimes there's hidden bats. Yeah, it all works out. Yeah, so did we only go there for the missile pack? Yes. Oh, okay. And and the gamer, of course, but... Uh, right, right. Gamer was the most important part. Missile pack? <laughs> Throw it in the bin. 
place we need to go is beyond the wreck of the... What is this? Ah, this, here we go. This, it's a Theseus. The GFS Theseus. <laughs> Theseus nuts. <laughs> Are you getting attacked? Are you proud about that one? D no. Are you proud? You want to pat yourself in the back? Go pat yourself in the back right now. You feel good about that one? No, because I kind of had to slap myself so it would show up in the microphone. You just feel good about these nuts on your face. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was pretty good! You mind if I borrow that? Alright, this is beyond uh, the uh, the GFS Theseus. This is where we need to go. Because we have ice missiles to do these now. Oh. We've found a landing site for the Federation. And this will upgrade our ship. <gasps> ship combat? Or just ship upgrades? It will upgrade our ship. That's all we know. But it's apparently just right over here. But I thought we got the map. It's odd. Bet. Let's do it. Well, whatever. Up into this bomb slot here, and, uh... I thought he was about to do some sick dance moves. And now to release you from my bit. Oh. This is what happens when Brio combines the ways of magic and the ways of science. They create these mechanical golems. But these are not in any way to help save the planet, it's really to keep the last Lord of Science tucked away. <laughs> Hidden from all his enemies. Lord of Science. It still gets me, even after all this time. It's an important title! Shut up! I mean, now we know why Sir Isaac Newton had that title. Alright, uh, Prime Free's doing this thing that it needs to stop right away. Disappearing enemies? Uh, a lot of them kind of blink out of existence. Uh, yeah, I noticed that. Th they really need to put that on, on lock, a lock, especially when I hit it with the nice missile that's supposed to freeze it, but it takes some time for it to freeze because it has these ice particles explode and then it's, 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 it's dumb. They need to stop that. They really need to stop that. It's really annoying. I thought this monster was just skipping frames, but no, it's just blinking out of existence. Like, it's not even like a good blink, it's just gone now. Yeah, exactly. They, they need to, like, put that on, on standby for a while. Maybe they'll do it in Prime 3 Remastered. Alright, hop in here. Got another mechanical golem here, but he is kind of trapped with these fuel gel. Break the chains. Yeah. Break the chains. That's exactly what we gotta do. Missile? Nope, just simple, uh, explode him up and then... Oh. Alright, there's one. There's a few more here, three more. Yeah, we'll try this one over here. Break the chase. Over here, and that just burns that one. Oh. Uh, that's it. There we go. There we go. Uh, how about this other one? How do I... How do you like it? Oh, I'll get back to that. Alright, two more! There's one over there that I'm... escaping me how I do that right now, but it's obvious. Yes, you're you're warm, but we'll get to that. Are you talking to your past self? I am indeed, yes. Hey, what's up, past self? Hey, can you figure this out, please? <laughs> Alright, so here... Uh, ice missile, uh, okay, freeze that, there so we, we go. the ball, hop up here, over here. Bomb jump, or uh, not having bomb jump anymore is nice. Not, ha not having to do it. Gotcha. There it is. Okay. Alright, last one. Man, can you imagine if that new Prince of Persia actually plays like this? I mean, obviously not the morph ball, but. I think it's gonna be just fine. It's from I the am. Origin Legends devs. I think, I think we're in good hands. They spent five years working on it. I'm all for it. All right, he's free. Release me, Cerberus. Oh, you did. Thanks. So now he's free. He lifts this up. Oh. Kind of inserts it right in here, and that unlocks a half pipe, which we have no means of doing anything with yet. <laughs> I was just thinking. <laughs> Hey, sick half pipe, bruh, but uh, we, no. We come down here, though. <laughs> Can't use it. Samus, we have uncovered more information regarding your condition. Oh, yeah? 
It appears that once activated, the unique phason inside your body overreacts after several seconds. Uh -huh. We did not foresee this problem when we gave you the PED, and unknowingly, we put you in a Ah, uh, doubt? We are sorry. Uh -huh. Please be aware that it will not be possible to counter Dark Samus without the PED. So the Phazon might we kill us, but we need the Phazon to kill the people who have the Phazon. Damn if you do, damn if you don't. Basically, she's saying, get over it and beat Dark Samus, please. To be careful, okay? Be fucking careful. What is that, I see? I spy something with my little eyes. Something reserve tank? E-tank! Oh, just a regular E-tank, okay. No reserve tanks. Is that just in the 2D Metroids? Yes. Like, okay. There are a lot of things in Super Metroid that got cut in later games because it was still so new, still so... Like the X-ray beam. <laughs> One of the most useless beams. But it... They turned it, into a visor for Prime, which makes more sense. That's true! So it was repurposed, not exactly, exactly removed. woo -wee. Okay, here's another one. It's there are these hives up here that, uh, release those flying things. Yeah, you just Come shoot. here, guys. They're based- those are repurposed war wasp hives, but you don't need missiles to destroy them anymore, just regular gunfire. Oh, thank god. We must have had a beam upgrade after a certain point. Or uh, maybe they were just like, you know what, these are kind of annoying, let's let the player destroy them easily. I think they weaken the hives. You know, because missiles have so much more use in this one, because you use them for platforms and stuff, and some enemies are only vulnerable with certain, uh, yeah. with certain mess missiles. So we shoot this gem, this, uh, crystallized, uh, gel fuel over there. Burns that, blows that up. Oh my. And then it goes up there, and... And that's... Oh, there's a second one up ah, there. Ah, okay. There we go. There it is. Oh, that is silky smooth. That's nice. That's, wow. That's stuff you can't get on the DS, no way. That's why you come back to the consoles for your Metroid, boy -o. Are there behind-the-scenes videos for Prime 3? I don't know. I would love to see... I, I know there's probably some for Prime 1, maybe a bit of Prime 2. I haven't checked Prime 3 yet. God, I would love to see the devs just working on stuff and just be like, Oh, look, I made Samus jump. Look, I made this pillar fall. Isn't that cool? Hostile yes. Oh! Intruder alert! This is the docking area for the Galactic Federation, but now they're closing the bay doors because there's some... bad guys who warped in here. Okay. They're blipping! Quick! Take him out. We got two war pounds and three of those Reptilicus soldiers attacking us now. I... God, I love them blipping out of existence. You only love them because it's happening on this end of the screen. Well, yeah. I mean, the Metroid series has definitely been, specifically Prime for me, has been more fun to watch. I still haven't touched Metroid Prime Remastered, and I feel bad for it. You should try it. I know. It's, it's beautiful. Especially since I have a good Let's Play to follow. Uh -huh. And all I need to do is scan Ridley at the end, and then I can put it that's, that's all you gotta do! <laughs> <laughs> it's Meta Ridley, by the way. Sorry. Meta Ridley. If you search for Ridley in the logbook, you're not gonna find anything. Oh, oh no. If you search Meta Ridley, oh, well, there he is. There he is. Spoken like someone who doesn't know a damn thing about Metroid. Uh, I mean, you're absolutely <laughs> right. I don't know a damn thing about Metroid. That's why I'm coming along and uh, enjoying the lore. You only know what I've taught you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gatekeeping Metroid right now? <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> Metroid's for the people, man. Gatekeeping Metroid is bad for Metroid. Do not gatekeep. We need people to buy it. Please, no. <laughs> open the gates. Open the gates. Have your children play Metroid, please! I know it's rated T, but trust me, your tenure can play it just fine! Alright, what we do here is we push this up button here. And, well, uh... We can bring in our ship here, but the bay doors are locked. So we have to go... Blast in. them open! We gotta go into that, into that vent, to go into that office, to turn on manual control. Cool. Let's do. It. Let's go do it. Let's go do that. Yes. And to just, do that, we just scan our hand on here and have an elevator that takes us right up. 
Do you think Sims rolls her eyes perpetually for all these constant locked doors that she has to deal with? Like, she just got in here, and then it locked, and it's like, uh, okay. I usually think that Samus is more inwardly sassy than outwardly sassy, you know? So no eye rolls, but kind of a, kind of a slow exhale, like, maybe a quicker exhale. Maybe a bit of a, bit, bit of a head shake. But she's not one who complains. Or, or maybe the eyes get just a tad squintier. So, just this like, is something that we won't use until way later. An energy cell. This is different than the one we had from uh, the GFS Olympus. This is the one that we can actually take and use somewhere else. On another planet somewhere. Ooh. Okay. So because we did that, we've opened up another door down there. It's an orange door. We can't open those yet. Good old grabbing ledge. <laughs> Hell yeah. They're good when they work. Oh, do they not work all the time? I've had some, I just, you know, slide down. It's okay. not nice. Not nice. Tisk tisk. Please fix and remaster. Then up here, and here we are. It's... Oh, there it is. It's a simple, just... Tilt it up, tilt it down. That must feel pretty nice. They built the game around the Wiimote, and it really shows. It just it, it just feels nice on a lot of things. I'm glad we've gotten somewhat away from building based on a gimmick. Some Nintendo games still do it, but not nearly as bad as Wii Wii U era. At least here they have an actual game around it. It's not just a collection of mini-games, which is good for like the first year and a half or so. But then you gotta start actually having some actual software hits, some killer apps. Yes. A reason for us to go with the meet with the motion controls. Right, so we can land our ship in here now. Received. Now that the door is open. And there you go. Who do you think details her ship? But wait, it's still buzzing at us. What's what's this center right. button? What's this center button here? Right. What's this do? Oh. This is what we came here for. Oh hell yeah. Oh hell yeah. New paint job? Nope. New weaponry! We are now armed with ship missiles! Woo! This is what we will use to destroy the generator. Airstrike. Airstrikes. Yeah! Airstrikes! Airstrikes to destroy the generator. Let's go do that. Oh, and it actually made sure to tell you this was your objective and it's complete. Mm-hmm. Just a, just a simple minor detour. Nothing too hard. Very Metroidvania-like. So now we can go back to Brio Fire and take out the generator once and for all. Gotcha. It's Brio Jungle. There we go. Fiery air dock. So we still haven't found a way to get to the generator here. What is mean? what I'm hearing. What do you mean? Or I guess we're not advancing yet. They still want you to take out the Brio Fire. It's, yeah, you you will need uh, something from, I think so, at least. Well, we'll get there when we get there. It's, well, I mean, really there is no uh, set pattern, but this is just the easiest way to go. Okay. This being the one that you did first, after all. Makes sense, makes sense. Better the generator you know, after all. I don't like how everything's still kind of encased in ice. Especially when it's so boiling hot around here. How cold does that ice have to be to not even be touched by lava? Uh, or gas. Enough for it to completely freeze it, mind you. We shoot, we shoot the, fuse, the fuel cell, it freezes. What, a couple thousand degrees negative Kelvin? Ow! Ne negative Kelvin? No, oh, that was an oxymoron. 
you can't go much colder than absolute zero. Sometimes you can shoot these guys back, but this guy is being cheeky and just not fucking letting me to- Ah! ah! Overload! Sometimes they can shoot you and you go to phase on overload, which means you gotta shoot up to phase on real quick! That was a mistake on their part, though! Do you know what you've done? You you've unlocked I win mode. You let me kill you easier! So that could just randomly happen when you get hit by an enemy? They, they throw these certain things that overload your phase on. Oh. Why the hell would they do that? Because you have a PED suit. Ordinarily, that would just make you die from phase on sickness. But now you get the PED suit, it alleviates that, and you can just unleash the phase on now. Okay, so they don't realize that us having this is a bad thing for them. They're not very smart. 300 kills! Those guys counted as kills? Of course. Nice, time to grind. A life is a life, man. That's true, that's true. Samus is, is pre thinks all life is precious. As she blows them up. She didn't say that uh, it was, you know, not worth destroying. Correct. It's precious. It must be destroyed. It's part of her recklessness. Ooh, let me. They put a turret here! A remorse class turret! <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> da, 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 da. There we go. I put a lot of these turrets down here. So was somebody here setting up turrets while we were gone? The space pirates are looking to set up camp here. Who do you think put in the generators? I see it. Yeah. Well, thanks for uh, not hiding and giving me the perfect uh, ability to find you and destroy you, space pirates. Much appreciated. Gotta make our way back up here, which is a little on the confusing side. I don't like the fact that turrets keep showing up to take pot shots at me. That's very fun when you're just trying to go somewhere and you just get hurt by something. It's a good thing they're not shooting, like, the phase on overload beams at you. No, but something happens when you get hurt. You get closer to death? Well, yes, but you lose a lot of your momentum. Ah. This is the way I want to go. Nah, I just want to jump right back up there. That guy shows up, and momentum kill! That's what you mean. Gotcha. So, besides losing your momentum after getting shot, which, that's a lot of force, uh, how's the platforming otherwise? Platforming's fine. It's no problem. But UDJ, you sound kind of cross. Because, what seems to be the matter, old chum? Because it fucking does that, you know, Oh, the, the, the man. Enemy. This being the third game, they want—they uh, have a lot of new ideas for enemies and stuff like that, like the blinking out of existence. That's that's really that's really good. Thank you, Retro. Love it. Thank you. Yes, please. Thank you. That guy self-destructed. Uh, I, I did try using an original Wiimote, though. Oh yeah, what were the, what were your findings? In the main menu, the signal was cutting out. I don't know if it's because I have a really old, crappy Wiimote, but uh, I ha it's it's giving me problems I don't have when I use my Skyward Sword one. Interesting. All right, a couple things to do here use the uh, ice missiles to make a little pathway here. I'm getting pot shots at turrets constantly now. Lovely. Why, did, why didn't that show up? Uh, Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Why? Why? What? What, what the fuck? And now you're too fuck? close. And now you're too ah! close. And now you're too close. Why did it? Why did it? Fuck no. Ah! It, platforming's fine. Platforming's fine. Just, just, just fine. Just fine. No issues. They gave me missiles. All is forgiven. <laughs> uh, well. The platform going away is very interesting because if it's cold enough to freeze it in the first place, how does it even have time to melt it? Well, uh, the ice is very, very cold. Unreasonably cold. Probably like a couple of degrees north of absolute zero cold. But it eventually has time to warm back up. But the thing about thermal energy is that that ice is constantly losing its its ice, mm -hmm. its, its its coldness, or it's heating up because of the constant uh, thermal energy from the fuel, the fuel gel. So yank that, and that makes a shortcut appear. That's great. That's lovely. Thank you. Oh, we love shortcuts in this Metroid household. And I love shortcuts that give me missile expansions. That's good too. That's even better. That's even better. Now we can shoot more lava directly in our face. 
Missiles, missiles actually have a purpose in this game. A big purpose. Ooh. Because they make platforms now. I mean, come on. That's nice. You need to have, you need to have them. And more turrets. Always good. We love to see, <laughs> love to see them spin. in flames. Oh, that tailspin was really funny. Oh! If you took a hit, though, you, you got a save station here, which you know about. Which is probably close to a boss encounter, because it looks exactly like the one last time. We already fought Rundus, so... I mean, that was a big boss fight. We did fight Rundus, yeah. So we're, yeah, so we're just going back through the same thing here. It's no big deal. Just, I, like I said, the space pirates have shown up, and now they're trying to take over. Yeah, good luck with that, guys. I think they're trying to reinforce the generator so I don't destroy it. Because I think what happened is I came down here, fucked some shit up, killed Rundus, uh, messed up Dark Samus' plans, and she's like, Hey! Hey! Let's go to the generators! You get down there and you make sure she doesn't! So now they're they're way more active down here. They've added a lot more stuff. They've added turrets. There's more of the more of the guys down here. You see the one guy up here thinks that he can be they can be smart. I don't fucking think so. Like I don't fucking think so. How does Dark Samus give commands all in pantomime and hissing? Hive mind phase on. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, so here's how this works. You're gonna love this. Are you, are you sitting down? Yeah. Because you're gonna stand right the fuck back up and go no fucking way. Two uh, scans here. The uh, smaller of the crates here. Space power crate. And that arrow trooper back there. Right, so we got these jamming beacons here. Yeah. They're making it so that we can't uh, call in our ship or do anything. Gotcha. We need that in order to kill the generator. So what you do here, you find these these things that are giving that glowing off red sensation. You pull this, that turns them off temporarily, though. Oh. Got to get both of these, though. One and two. Calling the cavalry. Like and then... Yeah, you launch that. yeah, yeah, and yeah. Here, and here's how your ship missiles work. Holy shit. Done. Oh, that's it? Done. Hilarious. So that's how that works. That's fantastic. We love that. That's, it's, it's very good to see. Absolutely, yes. And now we're gonna take that energy and then point that at the generators. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how many uh, whack-a-mole turrets they, 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 they throw my way. Ow. Or how many hit me. We're gonna do this. Let's bust straight through it, it's fine. D door? Door, let me in, let me in. Again, the doors are very slow in this iteration of the game. They're fixed in the trilogy version, but we're using the original version because that's how we've been doing it and that's how we're gonna keep doing it. I wonder how they fixed that in the trilogy version. Because it's, it's obviously loading. It's optimization. Probably deloading a couple extra rooms. I mean, look at Bloodborne. Bloodborne had some really bad long loading screens like all the time, and then after some optimization through some patches, they fixed them. Never even thought of that. I haven't thought of Bloodborne for a while either, so heard <laughs> that. I feel like they're trying to set up the generator again because oh, it's, it's, it's it's online. She did something to it. I don't know. What, I don't know what she did. You just she, die already. Right? She tried to turn it off and turn it back on. The results may shock you. So you come out to this part right here. That's the generator itself. Oh, baby. We're not turning it off. We're destroying it. We're making sure it can never turn on ever again. God, we even have the dramatic zoom. Oh, that's... So what if it's a little more linear? So what if it's a bit more hand-holdy? That's fucking awesome. That's good shit. That's fucking good shit! That's badass. And now, let's do it again. Now we gotta go find the other generator. Yeah, let's do it again. That is at, of course, the Brio Jungle. Oh, we're heading to the jungle first. Well, yeah, that's, that's where it is. Oh. That was where we uh, popped in there real quick to get that one E-Tank. Yeah, yeah, Now we can actually go further in there, and we've got everything we need. And... We needed ship missiles, by the way, to go further into the jungle. I'm sorry, what? The ship missile we have. 
We needed we needed the ship missiles to go oh, to, okay. into the jungle. Okay, for for some reason my brain immediately went, Yes, your ship has limited ammo. <laughs> I was like, oh, yes, nah. it yes it does. Ah oh, fuck. I think it's got like three right now. I'll use two of them. Oh look! Check it out. Hi guys! This is an advanced shield trooper. Well, how advanced could it be if it has a shield that can be ripped away with our grapple beam? Well, you take care of this, but, uh, observe. Okay. Where's, where's your friend here? I'll get him later. Alright, so, tear the shield off. Yep. Now he is just... an advanced pirate trooper. <laughs> wow, two scans in one, holy crap! To think that your rank changes by what items you have on hand. Like when I hold this goblet, that means that I am senior district manager. And I put it down. Oh, now I'm only deputy I'm just, district manager. I'm just thinking he puts his shield down to take a piss. It's just like, excuse me, shield trip. Oh, sorry. You're just a normal space pirate. A normal advanced pirate trooper, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give me no lip, or I'll grab my shield again. Uh, sir, I just picked up your shield. You what? Well, now he is a pirate shield trooper. You know, that means you could steal ranks from your fellow space pirates. It's doggy dog. It's oh, definitely. Space pirates are a bit harder to control than the Ing are, you see. No honor among space pirates, I guess. No brains, either. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? They're doing their best against Samus, I think. Not really. Why are they still getting their ass hit? Their ass handled? Because actually, actually, they're doing great. Until we woke up. Uh, correct. Now they're fucked. I think that's what's happening now. It's like, guys, guys, Samus is awake. What? I thought she died. No, no, she's back. She's she, she's fucking everything up again. No. Yeah, exactly. They get the phone call and they just they just go, mother of God. <laughs> Next time on Metric Prime Three, we're gonna give them something to really cry about. Taking out that second generator. See you then. Uh -huh.